Uh, okay. So here's here's one that goes in. All right, let's hear it. No meme here for the entire email, I promise. That's a meme. To the SBF crew, I heard you guys discussing Devil May Cry V, and you seem to be... Ah, uh, this is from... This is from... You. Pierce. Pierce. At Pierce. <laughs> Uh, oh. So I heard you guys describe, discussing Devil May Cry V, and you seem genuinely interested in a new game coming out and seem genuinely to love the series. The whole thing makes me confused as you and others' excitement is so alien to my experience with the game. Uh -huh. It's difficult to understand the appeal of the series, and I was wondering if you could perhaps read my experience and tell me what the appeal is to you. Got it. I bought the HD collection of Devil May Cry after finishing Bayo. I loved quote-unquote Bayo. I had such a good time with Bayo, finishing three plus times. I wanted more. I heard lots of good things about Devil May Cry and that it was it's what made it's the game that was made by the same people. I heard them prizing the stylish, fun combat, interesting enemies, well done gameplay, lighthearted and jokey tone, good music, and more. Boy was I in for a shock. I spent seventy dollars or so on the collection and I consider it to be one of the worst game purchases decisions I've ever made. Mm -hmm. Uh, my experience with the game was pretty much the opposite of what was advertised. Instead of stylish, fun combat, it turned out the only real strategy was mashing attack button. I remember an uppercut, but there was no use for it. To be fair, I also found the shotgun and a dresser to replace the useless pistols, but it turned the game into repeatedly shoot them. The game didn't seem lighthearted or jokey at all. Instead, it all seemed rather dour, with complete moments of failing to be cool in there. Instead of interesting enemies, I got dumb, boring puppets for the most of the time okay, I played. Okay, the person's clearly just talking about that DMC one. 1. Yes. Yeah. Instead of well-done gameplay, I got awful camera work and jumping way worse than it should have been. The real worst thing, however, was the music, the awful pipe organ massacre on Eternal Loop, the kind of physical punishment for playing the game at all. I got a literal headache from listening as I wandered around the castle. Compare that to Bayo, and it's, which has such a fun intro sequence, and immediately in the graveyard you have access to a full move set. I'm uh, uh, I got to do a whole bunch of moves with each variation. I got to do cool, useful things, which time and bullet climax, and the music is good, and the key game, quote-unquote, keeps being fun continuously. Mm -hmm. Onwards to HD Collection, driven by the talk of how good the series is, $70, and I paid for the three games. Eventually, I reached the spider that was on fire. I fought it for a bit and decided that it wasn't making the game better and that it would never get better. So I pretty much... Uh, yeah, yeah, I eventually passed the game on to someone else through eBay. Monkey Paw style. So what exactly do you guys like about Devil May Cry, both the first game in particular and the series as a whole? All right. Well, what got this game through sequels I, and a remake? I, I'm going to say right off the bat before you guys probably go more depth than me. It's like it's not great compared to Bayo because Bayo's much old, like newer <laughs> Has more systems and it's a is, very and is more fun. Generally. This is a very like understandable if you, situation. If you go from Bayo, but this, this person has so, to understand that we grew up playing. I can Devil follow. May Cry. I can uh, follow I, the timeline that leads to this. So I, I understand. I, I want to point out that this is a very similar complaint that you see a lot of the time when you go from the spinoff, whatever the spiritual successor game that's far into the future, and then you go back to pretty much where it started, and it's like. You're, you're, there is a specific personality trait of your tolerance for shit being old. And Devil May Cry 1 is positively fucking ancient at this point. It came out in 2001. One, yeah. It is old as shit. Bayonetta is now old as shit, but that genre hasn't really advanced Progressed all that far past then, Bayonetta. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the design decisions made during Bayonetta were specifically to combat the issues that you describe. Jumping in DMC1 in particular is really bad. It's the now... The way that you dodge, well, holding the... Tr it, it, the way that you dodge in that game was even called out in the leak for V yeah, as, yeah. as something that's awkward yeah. and needed to change. Yeah, and it, it no, needed it, to be more DMC1, one, it, DMC1 is now old enough to drink. <laughs> um, yeah. It's... It, I think that in particular... In Canada. When you think of... Yeah, well... Yeah. 20, yeah, it's not 21. Oh, God, yeah, it's fucking 21 shit. What the fuck? Right. Anyway. Uh, the, um... Well, it's only 16, so you'd have to go to... DMC1, in particular, the also... Y all, like, besides remembering that, that, that it's, like, the time and such and the context... Yeah. This was a game that, when you first played it, you are coming off of it being, like, it's a Capcom game, and it's, like, oh, it's like Resident Evil. So your expectations were Resident Evil. There were, and it used but to be a Resident little bit Evil. faster, right? Yeah. Because that's originally what it was. So with that in mind, and kind of, like, setting your expectations there, what you got was something way faster and more exciting than... Resident Evil, and the tone is definitely dour compared to Bayo now, or DMC3 later, but DMC1 compared to RE 
is lively and fun and because you've yeah, got you've got a, a, a jumping around character going flock <laughs> off featherface or you can stick around and find out the hard way mm. was a something that you wouldn't get from uh chris redfield or or jill uh, valentine you, you, not intentionally you also have to compare it to the state of the three action game at the time god of war was quality but that came later. Yeah, it came out like four right? years like, later. Like, compare that to, like, <laughs> Lament of Innocence, which was the Devil May Cry knockoff that yeah. Konami yeah, yeah, made, yeah, which yeah. is a Castlevania game. And every 3D action game in the PS1 era. Like, it was a quantum leap forward in, like, control, in move list, in uh, style. So, for example, uh, you found an uppercut, but you didn't find a reason to use it. That's because the primary reason to use it in Devil May Cry 1 is to pop up an enemy so it can't hurt you, shoot it, so that it looks cool. Like, that's the number one reason to use the uppercut is because it looks dope. Here's the other thing. This is a game that came out on the PS2, but let's not forget that the PS2 was a fucking long generation. Mm -hmm. This was yeah. early PS2, not launch. One of the earliest. But almost launch season. Like, PS2 is still getting notable releases, like, in 2000. Six, when it came, because I, I played it as one of the games that, like, first time I touched the PS2 was uh, at Microplay when you'd rent, and I remember like picking out DMC because it was like, oh yeah, it's one of those new games. For DMC this new console. one was the first game I ever like rented as soon as I got my PS2. Like, I spent all my money so I couldn't buy a game, so, so I went to the store and I rented I mean, DMC. So what? So what player. DMC one if effectively represents is the break off of a, a different franchise that was its holder in the same way that Dota broke off from Warcraft, Warcraft yeah. right? In the same way that Counter-Strike uh, 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 broke off. From Half-Life. Like, you're seeing the first step of basically a mod. DMC1 was effectively an RE mod. Uh, yeah, an RE4 mod. A right? Like a repurposed Resident Evil game. Basically. And the expectations going in were not for this new thing that you now know as a song, uh, as a solid type of genre but it was a genre that didn't exist at so, the time like i mean we all came to it from different places like the the place that matt and i came at that series is wildly different from the one that wooly came from it me and matt are big old school resident evil fans so you look at devil may cry and you look oh it's got dino christ style 3d dino crisis style 3d environments but it's still a fixed camera and there's a lot like of resident interactables evil. that you can read mm -hmm. like in resident evil yep. and it's a really gothic like oppressive like environment but it's it's a lot it it it's turning into the goofy stuff that Resident Evil does. Yeah. But it also has really solid action combat, and it starts the stylish action category of of presentation and cutscenes. But they were know, all that. but they were fixing the car as it was rolling because they didn't know what they invented, right? And yes. this is and to, Pierce to to like actually address what you're talking about. The fact that DMC two is such a train wreck, it's the worst. Shows you how much they didn't know what they had, right? They really didn't know. Like people were up upset because guns usually do damage, but these guns don't. D d why? In, in this game, guns are combo filler. It doesn't make sense why my guns are not hurting things. Because bang, bang, gun. Yeah. And the idea of thinking outside the box of them being like, no, the, exactly, these are combo filler. They're meant to stall you while in, in the air while I do other and, things. And keep uh, and keep your combo. There was no precedent for that. There's no reason to think that way, and it was not uh, explicitly explained in any menu. Mm -hmm. It was just something that was emergent with the with how the game worked out. Mm -hmm. So all this to say is that in your HD collection, if you happened to make it over to 3... 3 is a lot closer to what you are used to. But you would see the actual first steps of, we know what we're making now, yeah. right? We fully understand and embrace like the wackiness, the craziness, and, the combo, the style, the fun. And, and it's it's all iter iterative, right? So 3 has... Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Shimomura. Doing the cutscenes. Yeah. So right? the cutscenes are and, and the cut over scenes, the top. Shimomura did Bayo1's cutscenes. He did DMC4's cutscenes. And he's probably going to do DMC5's yeah. cutscenes, right? That tone becomes established, right? In addition, DMC1's dodging is terrible. DMC2's dodging is even worse. DMC3 has a style which introduces Bayonetta style invincible dodges in Trickster. Right. But it's a, it's a specific style button. Bayonetta looks at that and then goes, no, let's make that universal and put it on a trigger. And then let's give people a bonus for using for it. For using it perfectly and you such, know, it's, exactly. I, it, it's, I, it's a very iterative process. I would still say that maybe even still, like, judging from that email, it was pretty harsh on about everything. Um, probably better if you ever want to try it against actually just start a DMC4 if you're so into Bayonetta. I agree. Like, even 3 Why might not be three? a little. Because... 
I think the generation gap might be a problem with this, with, uh, what, Phil, what was it? Uh, anyway. Pierce. Pierce. I, Pierce, I think the generation gap might be a little bit, like, it might be better to go DMC4 than if you like that, maybe then dip back into DMC3 the, just a the, bit. There is also, uh, he's talking a lot about Bayo, and it's a really good, easy comparison point. Uh, Bayonetta is not made by the same people who made not, the Devil May not Cry 100% series. at least. Mm-hmm. Bayonetta is made by the people who made DMC1. Mm-hmm. And three and four are made by Itsuno-san and those folks. And I'm not even going to talk about two. Fuck that game. But there was a collective. Th- there is a split. There's a split. But there, and, and you see that whenever, you know, poor Kamiya has to answer questions about modern Dante. Yeah. But uh, alongside that split was a collective understanding of what a character action game was. And, and Bayo and DMC do aim towards different directions. Bayonetta is a lot more freeform, I would say, yeah. and it's a lot more like flow based because of the way dodging works. Whereas Devil May Cry, when it hit three and four, like the specific draw to many people, it becomes a combo machine. Hmm. It becomes a training mode simulator on helpless enemies that you can do a billion. Th- you can do a lot more in four than you could ever do in Bayo, and hmm. that's not a knock against Bayo. It's just the focuses of those games are different. Plus, you also have multiple like the yeah, the, the nonsense that Virgil can get up to in the special edition is totally ridiculous. So I was gonna say three special edition. I don't know if it's so old that it's like. It's, you I would, can't go back to it I, for no, certain no, people. I, I can and some people can, I, but I'm like, I, I just from that harsh that, that email was on DMC1. One is now like unrecognizable as the start of that genre. Sure. And it's gone so far. But but the point is, I guess it comes from like what do you, yeah, who who it depends on who you are and what you're looking for and how much you, you're willing to put up with, I suppose. Cause I know some people that like would want to get into it that'd be like, fuck yeah, I'll start with one. I, I don't know what this wonky shit is, but I'll and they'll enjoy that wonky yeah. ride for what it was and go like, Oh man, that's how it used to be. Now I understand, you know. Mm-hmm. So some people have more patience with that than others, but if you didn't know what you were in for, then yeah, you wouldn't have known that the third game is kind of where it's, you'd start to see a lot more of your Bayo influence. It it, it reminds um, me a lot of people who and this is slightly different but it's like people who go back they hear ff7 is the greatest rpg right right right, 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 right and they right, go back right. like and they go that's it now yeah yeah, yeah. and they go what's the big deal exactly. these cutscenes look terrible i'm like no no, no <laughs> i mean the th- context of the time thankfully i haven't ran into many of that those people but i can imagine that because yeah a lot of things get overrated based on inflation over time of hype you know mm. uh but no, it, so I mean, so this person that like, and 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 I, I could imagine them also being excited for games like Revengeance, you know what I mean, yeah. and, and those things because you're seeing the realized full version of the idea. Yeah. Um. So all, V, if it's real, it's real, and it when it comes out, it will is probably going to be way more up your alley than these older ones because yeah, they're going to yeah, be building yeah. off the lessons that they saw in Bayonetta and Bayonetta 2. Smooth. And effectively, to answer your question, the reason why we're excited and into the series is because of all the shit that you didn't do, which is the third game and beyond. Yeah, the third and fourth game. So, like, I, I personally... And, and also because it's been so long I since I personally we had would love... Paper. Like, there's an alternate version of history in which DMC1 became the long-running template of that series. And I'd be perfectly happy because I really like that mixture. Mm-hmm. But I'm much, but I'm happier with this one where it became a, so, a single-player fighting game. If if Kamiya gets his wish, he's going to go back to DMC1, Dante, because yeah. that's what he's got in his head. But, I mean, at the end of the day, like, uh, we're looking at DMC5 probably being... All the things you love about Bayo and all the things you love about Revengeance and all the things you love about DMC4 and so on getting incorporated the into synthesis. this new version because now we know more about this genre than ever, <laughs> right? To the point even, where... Even Dragon's Dogma had lessons to teach. And, and, that's and, not, and that's barely touching and, it. And the Pretenders to the Throne are now pretty decent games. Yeah. Right? The knockoffs and reboots are, are coming are along all quite well. Decent. So at, at worst. You know, like everything stands to reason that this is going to be phenomenal, but it had it all that all that quality was in the games that you didn't uh, play. And also there's stuff in Devil May Cry 1 that never came back that I miss. Like Perfect shots that kill enemies in a single hit. Fucking thank you. When you get the scissor fucks and they're coming at you and you wait and line up the shotgun 
and get a headshot, you know, and they you, die in one. You know you can do it with a pistol, right? Totally it's, it, 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 it does, it's not a damage thing. It's, it's it a, is it's one a, of the coolest thing. things in the entire franchise, and it never came back. Yeah, and it's only for that one enemy. Holy fuck, I loved it so much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's it's harder to do with the pistol because yeah. the aiming, has, but it's 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 you, you you get the clash and it has to be to the right side and you walk two feet to the left and you put the gun on their forehead and you pop and these when pop. the shots lined up they fucking and they're such an uh, an annoying enemy to fight so a really pain free way of dealing with them with style was so welcome that was great really good example yeah absolutely um, oh also I have one last thing. He mentions fighting Phantom, the lava uh, spider. Lava spider. Yeah. yeah, one of the things about Phantom that I remember blew people's fucking minds was that you can hit his projectile reflect back it back into his open mouth. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And that's not a big deal anymore. No, obviously. But if you were frame perfect, or let's say like three or four frame right, perfect, right, you could do it, and it felt awesome. Yeah, like the camera in that hidden, fight's not the best, and you know he's not, you know, but like that hidden bits, cool stuff there, little hidden bits. Uh, like later, DMC four made it so that's like, no, I'm gonna grab this fucking spear out of the air and throw it back even cooler with Nero running I'm biking down the fucking tower and, and yeah <sighs> um so yeah that that's pretty much it man uh I think that was answered I'd say so the context of the period is vital but it's but again it's very understandable that someone with zero information walks in and goes what is this but also I'm, I'm not gonna stand here and go like oh we're perfect and we can do that like I can't go back to things past a certain date I can't go back to things before I started playing games well that's what we'll, I can't go back to the Atari and appreciate any of that shit well Pat you were able to watch 0079 and not have a problem with it that's right but not everyone can do that many which is why I have a hard time saying oh yeah start at 79 because I'm like I understand that some people don't and I don't know what you know I have to there are know people that are gonna oh, this animation sucks this is I have game. to know if you're the type of person that can ha that is willing to sit through date dated shit mm -hmm. to and appreciate and you're able to go like I I can put my mind in a place where I know what this was at the time therefore this is well, like good for its place think at about the time. it this way like there are people out there that uh like younger folks or people that didn't get into animated movies until later who are used to the modern state of animation. And if you were to go show them like a Miyazaki film or like an older Disney film, they go, why does this animation look so old? Why does it look so bad? No, no here's the worst you one. Know? I know I have the, the uh, I think they're like, I don't know, 16, 17 or whatever. The, the son of a friend of a friend or whatever was talking about, I think, Force Awakens. They're like, man, I hate those fake looking costumes that the aliens wear. They don't like like pre people that don't like going back to practical effects. Uh, don't like puppets. Don't like uh, miniatures. That's where I'm like, <sighs> punch them. Uh, don't get me wrong. CG but, is CG, and see, it needs to be here. Yeah. But if someone makes that choice to go, I want a monster that looks real, and we don't. We, can we? Do we have a cool thing like those little frost foxes that are in the Last Jedi? In most shots, they're CG, but they made a practical model that looks amazing, mm -hmm. and they use that for close-ups or whatever. And I'm like, someone that's like can't go back to fucking practical effects. I've got is it's, crazy. but bad I mean, CG though. I don't know. It's so much worse than bad practical bad effects. Bad CG is absolutely. I, I worse don't know if you guys actually know effects. this. Matt might, but you know the thing uh, sequel, the one that takes place on the Norwegian base. Yeah, that yeah, came yeah. Out a few I seen years it. I seen ago. it. I seen it. That was all CG effects, much to the disappointment of fans of the original, sure. right? Are you aware that the entire movie was shot and filmed using practical effects? And then the uh, producers or executives in charge of the project said, the testing says that young people like the CG look, and it'll do better with the CG I look. Did not know and this. they replaced the entire film's practical effects with CG. I would the testing look. was so bad that they spent that much money That's on correct. completely re releasing it. Like, and there's behind the scenes things if you can see, like the double combined it's man. It's fucked. It's fucked. Where it's a, it's a practical it's rig yeah, yeah. and it looks okay. so good. That's, that's, Dude, a, that's that... a shame because that movie in its finished day is actually fine. It's a decent, like, thing thing yeah. you know is yeah. it as good as no of course not no. but like i was actually surprised like well this wasn't that bad i enjoyed it i the guess the point that, but that the fact that i missed out on that yeah the fact and the fact that that was an economical that decision cut? that was like no but, the, the kids like the cg yeah, and, they, and they're like and it's worth it for us to actually go back and spend on it like it's fucked that's crazy there's no winning this you know go, um, go look that stuff up the practical effects they made 
That's I can't, awesome. And there's interviews with guys who like wow. made the rig and they're like all about to cry because they're like, yeah, it all got taken out. That's be, that's <laughs> super depressing. And the fact that like the people involved in making it, like even the production level are like, you know, you're telling me that the producers were, t- were saying, yeah, we know it sucks. Bust, but- busted six months of my life to make this fucking rig. <sighs> and the test shoots were great. And they okay that's why i'm glad in predator movies they always have some <laughs> asshole running around in this cool suit yeah because it's a human shaped but animal. you know what matt if someone told me they were gonna put in a practical effects kathaga into the relic i would say fuck no, you get I out of my house that dang bad cg <laughs> get the fuck out of my house darkness but they haven't quite been able to light cg monsters that well so it always stands out and it's gray he's gray his shadows are gray it's all terrible i would those not shadows. accept it there's certain exceptions to the rule yeah. don't you dare don't you dare take away my bad cg kathaga from me oh there was one last thing that i forgot to mention about devil may cry that adds into it okay. that would hurt a person's enjoyment of it now when it came out it wasn't just a great action game it was a great action game that was hard as shit mm. and had tons of variable difficulty modes that you would unlock later so a lot of the depth in that game DMD, got yeah, discovered yep. as a result of super su- i remember me and you had an argument over whether uh, uh, you preferred like kick 13 or the meteor on ifrit for like nightmares core right 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 right, right. And it's like well kick 13's faster and it and it and it kicks away the fucking uh it kicks away the project the 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 triangle projectiles that go towards you but the meteor actually does do more damage over time it's like and, all that stuff isn't yeah, visible yeah, on a yeah. casual play and the game's difficulty with its like more obtuse mechanics yes. as of now make it worse and overall pe- and people put the level same level of scrutiny into this that they do into like uh, really competitive uh, FPSs or really competitive fighting games or really competitive other types of multiplayer games and you end up finding really obscure things, you know? Um, and there's, like, secrets, like, things that go from uh, one-shot kills on certain enemies and, uh, you know, knocking back uh, Phantom's fireball mm-hmm. turn into plug-in controller 2 during... Uh, um, during... Uh, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, not- uh, uh, Arkham. Uh, and you get a second player controlling Virgil on 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 that boss fight, and then you have the people who go on the real deep dive and they find out, hey, how many times can you jump cancel Killer B? Oh, infinite times. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can defeat Beowulf with just Killer B. You totally can in but, shit like that. And al- also, if you sw- if you uh, stay on doppelganger, that your a doppelganger can also be controlled by player two oh, the yeah. entire time. So, you know what I mean? Like, like, like little things like that where you're like, what the fuck? That's in the game? Like, there's super, super, Can we like. Just get a co op mode in the No Dome Only if you don't split the screen. You got a co op mode in Bayonetta 2. Only if you don't split the screen. So maybe and, and it functions better than you think it does. Yeah, you're always been on about that. I really expected it to be shit, and it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let's take one last one from uh, Bailey. He says.